My name is Anthony Scala. I am one of the co-founders of Divine Child Esports here located in Dearborn, Michigan. We started pretty much year zero, ground zero, last spring where we decided, you know what, we have some interest in League of Legends, let's try to host the team. And we participated in the Lawrence Tech League where we didn't do very well. The group of us collectively, myself, my brother Dominic Scala, my friend Anthony Ronchetto and the other admin, Matthew Mooney, all met over the summer and decided that we really wanted to pursue this on a whole different degree of that than most Michigan high schools are doing right now. So from there we decided that we would go through, find sponsors for us potentially. So we solicited the companies like Active Solutions Group, which is a local IT company that was responsible for our gaming rigs. We talked to Bloody Gaming, which is a peripheral company based out of California who provided us with all of our peripherals today. And we decided to make it larger than just that typical club mantra. And that's where a lot of programs die. And that's what Robert Morris had told me as well when I spoke with them pretty extensively when we were trying to build a program is that do not get caught in the stigma that this is just a club. Push for it to be a sport, push for it to be more. The reality is, traditional sports are not always for everybody. Not everyone's gonna be a stud football player, throw a 95 mile an hour curveball as a lefty. It's just not feasible. Everyone excels at different things, and adopting esports into the regiment allows kids an opportunity who have traditionally usually not had an opportunity to be a part of such a team sport and atmosphere. We have kids that are wearing Divine Child esports jerseys right now that may have probably never been given a jersey of any kind in their life up until this point. They get to develop those team skills and those soft skills that are so translatable into the college world and moving forward to be successful when a lot of those kids are otherwise pushed to the back burner and told, yeah, you know, do your own thing on your own time and we're just going to kind of tell you not to do it. One of our admins, Matthew Mooney, actually had an opportunity to sit down with MHSAA. They are very on board on adopting this. They're just looking for more information. A lot of these programs, schools and clubs, they just lack the general information to get started. They don't know where to go. A lot of them don't know what esports necessarily entails. So not only are we looking to build our own brand and program up, but we're also willing to help other schools start their own programs and brand as well. There's gonna be a lot of bumps and bruises in the way. It's a new program. You're launching something that virtually not a lot of schools are doing in our state and not even a ton in the country so far. It's gonna be a process. There's such a big learning curve to it, but do not get discouraged when pursuing it.